Funny word origins, word origin jokes. Funny word origins, these are actual origins of commonly used words. Fuck. The word fuck is said to actually be an acronym that originated in medieval times, during the Black Plague to keep the population from dwindling, shrinking. It stood for, fornicate under command of the king. The true origin of this word predates fornication under consent of the king. Originally the acronym fuck was the term used to describe the act of rape. It stands for forced unlawful carnal knowledge. In its original use it was considered to be the most unacceptable act imaginable and hence the word became almost taboo. Over the years the use has been adapted into daily conversation but the underlying emotion of its use have remained. FUBU Hip-Hop Clothing Company founded in 1992 FUBU is an acronym for For Us By Us, referring to the founder's purpose, clothes designed by African Americans for African Americans Many items from the clothing Line display the number 05, which stands for the five childhood Friends from Queens who founded the company 420 According to Stephen Hager editor of High Times, the term 420 originated at San Rafael High School, in 1971, among a group of about a dozen pot-smoking wiseacres who called themselves the Waldos. The term 420 was shorthand for the time of day the group would meet, at the campus statue of Louis Pasteur, to smoke pot. F shizzle my anizzle. It simply means for sure my nigga. Often used by Snoop Dogg. Donkey Punch Donkey Punch is a slang term for a supposed sex move performed during doggy style or anal sex. The move involves the penetrating partner. Punching the penetrated partner in the back of the head or neck. Immediately prior to orgasm, accompanied in most tellings of the technique with a victorious cry of Donkey Punch. The alleged purpose is to cause the muscles around the vagina or anus to contract around the penis or dildo, creating a supposedly enhanced orgasm. The term may refer to the surprised party bucking, like a donkey. A variation of the practice may be enacted to distract the female, allowing for the surprise penetration of the anus. Such actions are potentially prosecutable, surprise penetration is rape. The move could also be performed on a male during anal sex, and also by a female with a strap on dildo. In reality, punching someone in the back of the head, rabbit punching, can damage the brain stem, causing death or permanent injury. It is illegal in professional boxing for this reason. Hooker Prostitutes who followed General Joseph Hooker's rowdy bunch of troops During the Civil War 1860s. Although the term has been mentioned previously in history, it is undoubtedly when the term became prevalent. In American slang, son of a gun. The nautical explanation is that in the age of sail, women, wives, mistresses, and prostitutes were frequently on board ship when in port or sailing in home waters, and occasionally children would be born aboard ship. Common sailors slept on the gun deck and went on board, there. Wives and mistresses would sleep there too. If a child were born on board, it would likely be born on the gun deck. If male, such a child was referred to as a son of a gun. This legend dates back to the mid-19th century. Admiral William Henry Smith wrote in his 1867 book, The Sailor's Word Book, that is one of the primary sources for data on 19th century nautical lingo. Paprazzi. Paparazzi, plural of paparazzo, comes from the name of a character in Fellini's La Dolce Vita. In the movie, Paparazzo was a photographer who would go to great lengths to take pictures of American movie stars. Nerd. A variation on the name of ventriloquist Edgar Bergens, Candace's. Father, brainy dummy, 
Mortimer Snerd or quite possibly a character from a Dr. Seuss book published in 1950 if I ran the zoo. I'll sail to Kansas true. And bring back an it kutch, a preep and a prue, a nurkle, a nerd, and a seersucker, too. Redneck. Dates to 1830, when it was first used to denote the Presbyterians of Fayetteville, Georgia. But it wasn't until 1893 that the term was used. In the modern sense of a poor, white farmer or laborer. The significance of the name is somewhat obscure. Three explanations are commonly offered. First, it could be a reference to a ruddy neck caused by anger. Second, it could be a reference to sunburned necks caused by working in the fields all day. Finally, it could be a reference to pellagra which turns the neck red. The original reference to Presbyterians may be to poor, Scotch-Irish farmers that was later expanded to a larger economic class. Rule of thumb. Most think it comes from the original rule of thumb that appeared in English common law. The law said that a man could not beat his wife with a stick that was thicker than his thumb. Beating her with smaller sticks was permitted, and in some regions encouraged, to keep the woman in her place.